Do you like fresh coffee? I sure do. All right guys, so today we're gonna do some coffee roasting, fresh roasted coffee. I'm gonna go through all the steps, show you the things you need, and uh, pretty much how to do it, what to look for, uh, specifically looking at the Gin Cafe uh, coffee roaster, and I'll show you how I do it. So uh, today we are gonna start off with some Ethiopian Har coffee. Now this is uh, like a local uh, cousin to the Yergo Chef, which is uh, one of the more popular uh, green coffees. So uh, what we'll do is we'll pour in, we we'll pour in about, um, we we'll pour in 100 grams. Uh, the, the roaster itself can run up to 250. Personally, I like to uh, roast about 100 grams. It's just, uh, it's about all I, all I use in a, in a week's time frame. Um, I have coffee at, at work that I can use, and um, so I usually don't don't make much more than that at home. So yeah, let me shake some in here. Now, that's about all I ever really do, and that's showing about 66 uh, grams there. Um, but I think that's going to be enough. It's Ethiopian har kind of runs a little light uh, for the volume, anyway. So. Uh, usually one scoop is about all all you'll need. That comes along with the Gene Cafe, and that's ba basically what I use. So then I take that uh, amount of green coffee. You can see the green beans there. One thing about the uh, har beans, they are not necessarily all the exact same size. So that's uh, one difference that I've noticed between that them and the Yerger Chef. So we'll, we'll add them. Okay. We'll close that up, lift it out of the base, and set it right into the roaster. Now I'm roasting outside uh, just because uh, it's a little bit quieter inside, and not that the machine is very loud at all, which you'll hear in a few, but uh, it's just a little bit louder than uh, my wife would prefer. So. Anyway, uh, we'll show you the temp settings. Uh, one thing I've noticed with the Jin Cafe is it doesn't get up to, to temperature really quick. So I usually have the temperature set pretty high. So what we'll do is we'll turn the power on. It gets set up, so it's showing uh, 482 is the top temperature. So we're gonna leave that set there, 482. I don't know if you can tell that in the bright. And, um, we will set our time to, you can see there, it's about 15 minutes. I'll actually run it up around 16, there's 16.4 minutes. And that'll be good enough to uh, get us to where we need to be. I prefer to actually watch and listen to my coffee while it's roasting so that I can get the perfect uh, color, or color, texture, acidity, and whatnot. So I've closed the lid to the Gin Cafe, and now I'm going to go push the start button, rotate it all around, distributing it, and we're good. So now I'll come back in about 10 minutes or so to check in on the, the roast, and we'll see about uh, how it's going. And we're getting close to the medium color, the color that I like, and uh, I might even be able to hear some first crack at that point. Uh, I find with the noise and the small volume, it's hard to hear first crack or second crack for that point. So I usually do it by sight and score the beans. So we'll be back shortly, and uh, I'll show you what, what, where we're at. All right, so we're back here. Uh, it's been, what, about eight minutes so far, and the temperature's up to 476. You can see the color has browned quite considerably. You can see the shaft that's about ready to come off and get a better angle to the toilet. And uh, you can see that it's a very inconsistent color at this point in time. I found that to be very true of the R. It's a uh, very inconsistent it inconsistently roasts during the this section, then it seems to all get done about the same time. 
So we'll see the shaft come off here a little bit and uh, I'll show you that. Alright guys, so we're back here. You can see the coffee has been is getting a little oily and uh, it is all very brown. Looks like we've actually gone through second crack. Personally, I prefer to uh, just get it right before the second crack, but uh, actually, I think it's in it right now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it, press the red button, and that goes into the cooling mode. And uh, we'll stop the roast right there. And uh, yeah, we'll have some fresh roasted coffee for the morning. Alright guys, so that was the end of the roast. You can see that uh, this is a very dark roast. Uh, I've roasted it extra long this time uh, to get a dark roast. That's the one thing you've got with the home roasting. You can make it however you like. Uh, if you want it light, if you want it dark, and um, or today you want dark and tomorrow you want light, well you can do that. So uh, what I do then is I usually uh, put it in a jar and um, just what I'm going to do here is put it in the jar. Doing this one hand is probably not going to be easy. Um, so I'm going to show you the coffee beans in there and then I'm going to cut the video. So there we have the fresh roasted beans. You can see they are, uh, the shaft in the middle here is dark. So that would be a dark roast. It's a little on the oily side, so this is a very dark roast. This would be more of an espresso roast. Um, you, you could uh, grind this fine and use it in an espresso machine. Works out really well for that. So enjoy your Jean Cafe and uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll show you how to grind, how to clean the Jean Cafe and all other things relating to making coffee.